that talk about trial and improvement. Trial and improvement is an algebra topic, which is a method used for solving equations. Now, you get a question such as this in an exam, and you won't necessarily be, have, have all this laid out for you with a table, but you will be expected to draw this table up, and you will not get full marks if you don't. Now, it doesn't state, state this specifically, but when we work out an answer for x, where x cubed plus 4x equals 100, we're not going to get this absolutely precise. When we work it out, we're going to get a number that's near 100. But what we want is a number as close as possible to one decimal place for x. And I'll show you that now. We're going to start off by trying out values of x into the equation. So that's going to be our trial. And the number we get out will either be too big or too small. And we're going to adjust our value for x accordingly. So we start off with 5. We put that in and we'll get to 5 cubed, which means 5 times 5 times 5. We've got 4 times 5, or 4 times x, which is 20. All right. In this case, we're adding the two numbers together, which gives us 145. We want 100, so this is clearly too big. Because it's too big, we're going to try something smaller, which is a 4. Now we need to put this in each time, so we're going to have 4 cubed. Plus 4 times x, or 4 times 4, which is 16. And we're going to add the two together, and we're going to get 80. Now this is obviously too small. So we're going to try something in between. Halfway between 4 and 5 is 4.5. So we're going to do 4.5 cubed. We're going to add on 4.5 times by 4, which is 18. We're going to add the two together, and we're going to get the number 109.125. Okay, so we're closer again, but it's still too big. So we make it smaller. We're going to try out 4.3. So if we cube that first, 4.3 cubed, which is the same as 4.3 times 4.3 times 4.3. Now we're going to do 4.3 times 4 for 4x, which is 17.2. Add the two together and we get 96.707. This is now too small. So we're going to try out 4.4. Okay, 4.4 cubed. And 4.4 times by 4 which is 17.6. And we're going to add those two numbers together and we're going to get 102.784. This is still too big. So we'll try in between, which is 4.35. So we do 4.35 cubed, add on 4 times 4.35, which is 17.4, and that cut gives us 99.712875, which is a little bit too small, but we only want our answer to one decimal place. So this means that we want to go for the one above it, which is 4.4, so our x value 
equals 4.4 to one decimal place. 